Hey everybody, this is Creed, and welcome to Creed Saturday Morning Episode 3. Uh, what we're going to do today is a little bit different. Uh, we're going to try to rescue a piece out of my discard pile and turn it into some cool art. So let's see what we can do here. So I started this drawing in one of the Toad ships from Bucky O'Hare and the Toad Wars, but it just... I, I could feel it, it just wasn't going how I liked it to go. And... For some reason, I just decided to put it aside. I, I actually give things a little bit more of a chance because sometimes I'll pull a really good piece of art out of uh, something I didn't think was going to work out. I don't know about any of you guys if you draw, but I think part of making successful art is uh, you have a few failures once in a while. And this was one of mine. Now, actually, I don't have... I don't have a scan of the pencils as they were in my discard pile. I've actually tried to fix this as much as I can with pencils. And I'm at the point now where anything that needs work is symmetrical with something that's already drawn. So that's super easy to fix in, in Photoshop. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to ink the parts that I'm going to copy because I, I find I get the look better in my head if I see inks than just swapping the pencils around. And plus then I'm already invested by doing the inks that I really want to make sure this comes out instead of just messing with the pencils digitally. So I'm going to ink this nacelle here and then all I'm going to do is copy it. And for a small ship this still has a bit of perspective in it so so the nacelle on the other side is going to be a little bit smaller so I'm just going to resize that and I'm going to fit it in and there we go and the other thing I really didn't like about this was one of the guys I like the more squished in look um, the cartoon kind of bounces around because both of those are from reference uh, it's just drawn differently different times in different episodes. But I like the I like the squished in guy. And what I always found cool about the cartoon was uh, when the ship gets blasted, those bubbles go all the way around them and they just float around in a bubble. This cartoon actually covers some decently dark themes, but I don't think they're up for having green splotches floating around in space and from destroyed ships, so they they decide to save the guys in bubbles, I guess. Now, Bucky O'Hare and the Toad Wars ran in 1991 for only 13 episodes. And actually, every one of them was really good. It was based on a comic from Continuity Comics, which is now out of business, but was run by Neil Adams, famous Batman artist. And he actually co-wrote the final episode. The comic was created by Larry Hama, who is well known as uh, Marvel's G.I. Joe comics writer. And uh, it was drawn by Michael Golden, who is one of the co-creators of Rogue from the X-Men. The cartoon was made by Sunbow Entertainment. They made some of the best cartoons of the 80s and 90s, including G.I. Joe, Transformers, Inhumanoids, and The Tick. So a lot of what needed fixing here just turned out to be fixable with some cut and paste, which is great. I think that's what made this one more rescuable than anything else I can see in the pile. is most of the stuff that needed work was just symmetrical stuff that I could just get elsewhere on the piece. But yeah, I stopped this one. I was about halfway through and it, you, sometimes you can just feel that it's just not working out. So I find maybe some time away from it will help because if I if I push myself through, I'll finish it and it'll be done but I will not like it. It's, 
almost every time that happens. So I just learned, don't, don't push it. I always wished I was more like Mr. Dress Up. And if you're not from Canada, Mr. Dress Up is sort of a combination of Captain Kangaroo mixed with Mr. Rogers, but 10 times cooler. And he was a, he was a real artist. He's one of the first people I remember being impressed by seeing somebody draw something. It was the first time it was watching him. And he'd just sit down, he'd go, okay, I'm gonna draw a car, and there's a car, and he'd draw it. And I'm gonna draw it, and he didn't look at anything, and he didn't, you know, it was cartoony. But I mean, that, to be able to just call your shot like that and just draw something, I am not that kind of artist, unfortunately. <laughs> I'm still super happy that I even have any skill at all. But I really wish I was just one of those guys who could just snap my fingers and make something. I would probably have a day job doing art if I could sit down and somebody would come in and go, I need four buildings, a car, and two dogs by this afternoon. But that's, that's definitely not how my process works. My art has to come to me. I can sort of coax it sometimes, but, and I can sort of steer towards whatever subject I'm trying to do, but not 100%. My art does what my art does. So that's why I decided to draw a lot of stuff. Instead of being able to draw on demand, if somebody wanted a commission, what I'm hoping to do is draw enough stuff that if somebody wanted something, I already drew it. That's my best hope for any kind of a doing art for a living. And I am not worried about uh, that it's fan art. Some people are down on fan art. Uh, I'm a fan. And I'm an artist, so fan art. And I think good luck finding a picture of the Toad Cruiser drawn in my style. So, you know, it, it's a unique piece of art. Sometimes I'll draw something and the pencils aren't impressing me, but I know enough now that a really good set of inks and some good colors does wonders so if I if I think it's okay but it's not impressed me I'll go through all the work of the inks and colors and usually it comes out really really good so I learned that you can't tell everything by the pencil and there are different uh, versions of different add-on weapons and stuff for these ships but uh, I just went with the standard blasters I've just started doing this art on video stuff and I sometimes I sometimes don't remember to, to scan my my pencils but it was it was about half finished it was the one I had in my in my discard pile and actually it doesn't look like any other ones in there are very fixable this is this this one really is and it's look at how it turned out I've I like this a lot. This really starts to come together once you put the colors on it. Now I also have Complex, the evil toad AI that runs the, the whole toad empire. I already have him drawn in my villains gallery. And I also have Bucky O'Hare already drawn. I think eventually I, I'll draw the rest of the cast because it's, it's a, just a great cartoon. I, I keep going back to it. There we go, add some shadow in there. Uh, she's really coming together now. And to think I almost got rid of this piece. And as you can see, I, I, I like to use a lot of just primary colors. I don't like muted stuff or weird off colors like a lot of people use. I just like, if it's green, there's green. If it's light green, a lighter green. I am no colorist by any means of the imagination, but I do know where I want color, and I do know how to put it there, so that's what I do. It's just to enhance my art, but I'm, I don't claim to be a world-class colorist by any means. <laughs> So sometimes the guys are in colored bubbles like this, 
and sometimes in the show there are clear bubbles and you can see all the colors of their uniforms and stuff but I, I like this look it's like the ship has red eyes well that should do it that was quite the rescue I am actually really like the art that came out of that well, thanks for stopping by to see what I was up to, and make sure to come back to see what's next. I'm always drawing something new, so you might want to subscribe and keep up. Here's a couple of video suggestions. Uh, I'd appreciate a thumbs up or a thumbs down, however you feel, and uh, your comments are always welcome. So make sure you come back and check out what's going on, and have a kick-ass day.